Hello, Sir David the Bard. Um, I'm down here in Kangaroo City, and I was just, uh, it's Monday evening, and I was having my uh, family home evening uh, alone. But I did invite two or three kangaroos in, and they like that. They like that shit, you know? They sit around on the couch. They're like all family home evenings within, oh, I don't know, 10 seconds. They're bored as hell. They're jumping all around the room. I'm yelling shit at them, throwing books at them. Sit down. We have to have an opening prayer. And they yell, there's no God. Man. All right, then let's have snacks. Hey, they're just like kids. They go, fuck. We want snacks. I said, then sit down and shut up. I don't know what a kangaroo eats, but, you know, I made a couple of ham and cheese sandwiches, a peanut butter sandwich. Those little guys came right over. <laughs> so, anyway. Um, I want to give to you, my Mormon friends especially, I was reading the Doctrine and Covenants tonight in my family uh, home the evening, and uh, I found out where my destiny is. Uh, you Mormons who said that I have uh, apostatized, I like that word, <laughs> I didn't apostatize, you people joined a cult. I never wanted to join a cult. I didn't, you know, you guys changed. I didn't change. I wanted to be a nice person. You took me in a cult and made me a bad person. I had to get out myself. But anyway, uh, all the Mormons uh, that you read the comments, I never erase comments. Um, I erased two or three. <laughs> I think two of them were my brother, the uh, the Filipino scam artist. Anyway, anyway, I was reading the DNC uh, section 132. Now this has got to disappear. The Mormon Church has got to purge and say that Joseph Smith was drinking and on, on top of Helen Mark Kimball, and he in interpreted this wrong. He interpreted it wrong. But anyway, I'm going to tell you Mormons where I'm going, according to your religion. Now, call me apostate. You're saying I'm going to outer darkness. You say I'm going to hell. I'm going to burn. And then reformed Egyptian me. I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> you don't know shit. Read the DNC 132 verse, I believe, 26. Now, you know, you guys have never seen me chew on a straw. I chew on straws all the time. I think I did that since a child uh, because I didn't smoke. I was a Mormon and I wasn't allowed to smoke. And I guess I have some... Uh, uh, anxiety, so I chew on a straw, so <laughs> screw you, <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> now, let me bring up this document, okay? Let me enlarge it <laughs> like 9,000 times. I know when I'm getting old, because I used to only click twice on enlarge, now I click 92 times. Okay, here we go, D and C, yeah, 132. This is written by Joseph Smith. So, who better? Only Jesus is smarter than Joseph. But Joseph didn't think so. <laughs> Joseph thought he was smarter than Jesus. Anyway, let me read to you. Verily, verily, I say unto you, if a man marries a wife according to my word, and they are sealed by the Holy Spirit of promise, according to mine appointment, and he or she shall commit any sin or transgression of the new and everlasting covenant, whatever, whatever, apostasy, blasphemy, speaking ill of the Lord's anointed, um, front door. I don't care who's coming in, it's like the Danites, as soon as I start the alarms go off, the Danites are all over my building, where is that sound? Hi honey, I'm on the air, bye, bye baby, uh, so anyway, this is saying, that any man, on all manners of blasphemy, well that includes the bard, that includes the bard, and if they commit no murder wherein they shed innocent blood, I haven't killed anybody, and that they, sh and they shall come forth in the first resurrection and enter into their exaltations, but they shall be destroyed in the flesh. <laughs> so here's where the slitting of throats and the cutting of stomachs, and I would rather do this, uh, rather have my life taken, suffer to uh, never reveal or suffer my life to be taken. So I'm inclined to be destroyed in the flesh. I ain't going anywhere that I know of. And shall be delivered unto the buffetings of Satan until the day of redemption. Ooh, the buffetings of Satan. So I don't know if the redemption is tomorrow. <laughs> the, the buffetings are going to be very, very short. Now let me go back to me, if I can see me. Yeah, here we go. Oh, no, no, wait, wait a minute. 
I don't want to do that. <laughs> God dang. Hmm. <laughs> Where am I? Oh, Lord. Am I still on? I can't tell. Yes, there I am on that. There. There I am. Okay. So, anyway, all you Mormons that have written in so kindly, <laughs> so Christ like, say, You're going to rot in hell. You're going to reformed Egyptian on me, you know, because they're scared I'm getting away with something, and I am. Freedom. Freedom. Free agency. I am getting away with because I get the hell out of there. So anyway, your Joseph Smith has promised me in D&C 132, verse 26, I've been married in a new and everlasting covenant three times. Now, he was there 40 times. But the bard, is, is, you know, I'm the, I'm the caboose. <laughs> Joseph with the steam engine. <laughs> All the 14-year-olds line up. New and everlasting covenant. But anyway, as long as I don't kill anybody, uh, I'm going to be with the Mormons in the celestial kingdom. That's what Joseph says. Now, I hope the hell he's wrong on that, like he's been wrong on everything else. Because I don't want to be there with the Mormons. I think there's a special heaven for the Mormons. And I think they have to walk through the bard store <laughs> to get to the gates. And uh, I don't want to be there. And if you do, hey, hey, go to the Mormon heaven, you know. But anyway, I've been promised a celestial kingdom as long as I don't kill anybody. And... If that's the only way of not going there, watch out. Watch out. Because I'll do anything not to be with the Mormons. But I still have health and enable, marrow and the bone, strength and willing to send you. Power and priesthood be upon me and upon my posterity through all generations of time and throughout all eternity. Let me pay you, lay you, and ail you. And, oh God, hear the words of my mouth. And there's the innocent blood, my own. <laughs> Cut me open. Anyway. Uh, you Mormons that don't want to walk through the bard store <laughs> on the way to uh, heaven, uh, there is a waiver. There is a waiver. But you have to bring two 14-year-olds to prove that you're worthy of the waiver. <laughs> so anyway, this bard, he's gone. <laughs>